Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And Lamar is here, but that's not the focus of this video. No, the focus of this video is the Lamborghini Quintage, or the Pegasi Torero, or as I like to call it, the Infernus Classic for realsies. And ever since I did that video where I realized that the podium vehicle at the casino was a red Torero, and I already had won two Torero, one in each character. I had, the, you know, I'd won it twice, and it was back up again, exactly as it was before. I had a vision that I, on this character, on my, let's look at the, stay here, on our, on my Black Knight, my main character, I already had a white Torero, and then I won the red Torero. So if the Torero happened to be on sale, I could pick up a third Torero, and then I could have the trifecta of colors of the Kuntash, the white, the, the red, and the black. And that so happens to be the case. Booga, booga, booga. Come on, load. I think it does this just to simulate the real internet. Here we go. Part of gun running, the Pegasi Torero, as you can see, 499,000, half of what it normally is. And we have done it. We have gone for that. Now I'm going to try and do a little bit of customization here. I did all the basic stuff except the spoiler for reasons which you'll see here now. Okay, body work. We're not going to do headlight covers. The rear panel, we're going to... We're going to change it up a little bit here, only because the car I'm shooting for here is the original Cannonball Run Black Lambo, and it doesn't have a panel like this, but it does have 12 exhausts, so at least we've got the right number of holes. It had an exhaust pipe per cylinder. That was a, a more heavily customized Lambo than what you might think. Okay, so we're going to go vented panel, engine, engine cover, uh, let's see, louvers, is it not, that's closer to what it would be. Smooth cover, no, not that one. That I think looks more like what it looked like in the movie. We're not going to get perfect here, not, not even close. Uh, the hood was not a vented, or any of those that did have the front spoiler though, which I don't think helps you at all. I've already looked, you can't get the horn, though, that high-pitched Lambo horn, which rocks star, really. We don't need to respray it, I don't think, although we could go make it a metallic. Oh, was it a metallic, if you really think about it? No, it was just black. Let's just leave it as is. Spoiler, obviously we got to go classic spoiler here. That is the Lambo thing. Classic and lip, I don't think it had a lip. I think this was... This classic spoiler. Suspension were already slammed in the ground. It was really slammed, the one from the movie. I'm not going to put any of those images in because copyright and all that kind of stuff. The wheels were going to leave alone, though I do think I need to make uh, them bulletproof. Yeah, okay. you're going to want that. Windows, we'll give it a light smoke because give everything a light smoke. And so there you have it. We can exit the auto shop now. Now, the red one's pretty close. The red one, it's fully revved up. Come on, get in. But, there are something. Bumpers, I think the bumpers are, are fine as they are. Rear bumpers. No, nah, I don't think it had any of that. Bodywork, rear panel. Now, if I want to go with the... Uh, the speed zone one. If we want to make this the speed zone uh, version of the Lambo, that would be this mask panel. It had that kind of thing going. If I want to stick it with the Cannonball 2, which it really didn't feature that prominently in Cannonball 2. It was the white Lambo, then it became the red Lambo, and then they broke it down. The girls blew the engine up. So maybe we'll make this the, the, the Cannonball 3 one. With the the mask panel, engine, engine cover. Not that one. It certainly wasn't a dual scoop. It had a funky bulge on it, but I guess we'll just leave it as a vented. That's as close as we can get. Exhaust. You don't have the whole 
triple exhaust. I believe the chrome. Should have looked at the exhaust on the black one, maybe be a little bit fancier, but hood, hood on that one I don't think was vented. It didn't have did not have any of this. It was just a standard Lambo from there on out. Let's, let's tweak the exhaust on this one. A quick exhaust tweak. We'll chrome it up. At least we'll give it at least chrome. That's not it's not as good as the 12 exhausts of. Honestly, though, I don't know if that's more efficient or not. I don't know if that's. But it, it looks snazzy. And looking snazzy is about as much as you can do. Now, this, again, this is more to the point of. The Vice City one, and then, you know, yeah, of course I put the Spy Hunter plate on it because that's kind of like, you know, the, the whole Spy Hunter thing. If I wanted to do it exactly, I would cover the engine. So we do go engine cover. That would be the way to do it. Do we want to do it? Give it the dual scoop just to make it a little bit more Spy Hunter-y? Completely screws up the rear view, though. Like, literally, if I look backwards, I will have trouble. Which, in this car, you would anyway. Yeah, we'll vent cover it. We'll make them all vented covers. Why? Why not? Uh, let's see. This one has neon kit. Neon layout. Now you need that for handling. Believe it or not. Suspension. Slam it. Turbo. Yeah, it's all set up. Otherwise, wheels. Are they bulletproof? Yes, they are. All right, let's do the time warp again. And so here it is, folks. It's a dream garage for anyone who had one of these cars on a poster in their room, as I did. Anyone who loves the Cannonball Run movies, as I do. Completely psychotic comedy. You gotta love it. And uh, yeah, this is this is uh, this is kind of nice. Now, does anyone really need three Toreros in game? No, but if you're playing the game for just what you need, isn't that kind of missing the point of playing a video game? Here we go. This is this is something that we want. And yeah, they're all parked right across. Whoa, was this not? I guess Lamar left while we were talking, and there you go. Spot's been taken. All right. So there you have it, folks. The trifecta of Toreros. I remember watching a 60 Minutes piece. I have no idea if I still have it anywhere. It was recorded back in the day, where they actually you know took a Lamborghini to 180 miles an hour on in, in Italy. And had, I forget, it was like a designer or something talking about... Basically, these are the three colors you could get. And he, he likened them all to, to different kinds of women. You know, mysterious, you know, you know fun-loving, the virgin. You know, the whole kind of nine yards. It was a very, very sexual way of looking at the Lamborghini. And, like, I'm, I'm struck by how good these look in this lighting, in this place. This is making me entirely, entirely too happy. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, quick video. This is your Black Knight. Have a great night.